Oh. oh. Hey, this 3D is pretty incredible. Scott Steinberg, publisher of Digital Trends. We're here checking out Samsung's new 3D TVs. I have to say, technology is pretty impressive. Getting a demo, the only downside, of course, you have to wear these glasses. And the big questions that we have is not whether or not there's going to be a need for 3D TV, because actually it is pretty exciting. And once you see it, you'll be impressed by the quality of the picture. You'll see balls from ping pong pop out at you at the screen. You'll see characters that have real depth. We just don't know how much this is going to cost or whether or not it's really going to be affordable to the end consumer, especially do you have to go buy a new 3D Blu-ray player? Do you need to go buy, let's say, 3D Blu-rays? Now, on the night nice side, the cell TVs will actually convert 2D images to 3D, so that's pretty cool. I just wonder about the practicality, right? Are people really clamoring for this? Is it going to be fairly expensive? How quickly are adopters going to get on it? Are you going to see it going into the mainstream? And how quickly are content networks going to be able to ramp up? We've heard announcements from ESPN. We've heard announcements from folks like Sony and Discovery. But we really don't know how many hours of high-quality content you're going to be getting in 3D. And, of course, whether or not there's really people out there clamoring for 3D at this point because you know even I have just bought or said this recent holiday season not really ready to make that upgrade just yet wonder if the apps are going to be more important but again an impressive demo definitely really cool to see so hopefully in the next few years it'll be filtering down to the mainstream I'm going to get back to the demo I'll catch you guys later